All right, so I'm sitting here getting ready for this next deload workout, and I'm watching my buddy Tim Tibbidibidabidibidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidab
So I decided to go ahead and group all these training clips into the actual lifts themselves. Now for this deload, I only benched, squatted, and deadlift. I didn't do any of the accessory movements. It just so happened that this week was a really busy week for me, as I'm sure it was for many of you too, as we just get used to that time between Christmas and New Year's. Now in this particular day where I'm wearing this blue shirt, it's darker in the gym, and that's because this is around 11 o'clock at night. I'd actually gone to the movies that day and saw a concussion which I wish I actually had a concussion so I could forget that movie. Just something about Will Smith with an African accent for two hours does not work for me, my friend. So it's not a recommended movie from myself. But I got back and Amanda had some people over for food and drinks and I hung out with them for a little bit and talked a little bit before going down to the dungeon basement and getting my train on. That sounds terrible. Train on in the dungeon basement. Moving on. One of the things you'll notice on these clips is sometimes I'm pausing, sometimes I'm not. And again, I'm just trying to get used to what's coming for the next training week. One of the things I saw on my program are four count pause benches, which should be extremely interesting just because I've really struggled with these in the past. Number one, they are difficult to do pausing that long and remaining tight, but also counting to four between reps in that case will be extremely difficult for me because I tend to lose count of my rep count. So I might just go down and pause for what I consider to be just enough and then just go ahead and press back up. And I'm really looking forward to going back to competition grip full time because I made such great progress on my close grip bench. All right, so just finished the last training session of the deload. Thankfully, in a way it's bittersweet because I know I have to go back to heavy weights, which is gonna be good, but bad at the same time because I'm sure it's going to humble me very quickly. Anyways, finished that training session quick because apparently Amanda did not appreciate me only having the gummy candy cola for breakfast. So I came up and she actually whipped me up some breakfast. So got some toast, hash brown, a couple of turkey sausage and some eggs and of course some hot sauce and some ketchup. So I'm gonna give me some of that and that's probably gonna wrap up the training session here. I may or not add more onto the video. So if not, as always, thanks for watching and stay big. Yeah, it's all. So I guess I forgot to record my deadlifts from Monday. So you're just seeing the last deadlifts of not only this deload, but I think also of 2015. And one of the things that I'm noticing here is I'm pretty far bent over. I wanna say a big contributor to that is the fact that I haven't pulled conventional really in the last 15 weeks more than maybe two times. And of those two times, both of which are done from blocks. So I just haven't been used to pulling from the floor, but overall these felt really good. Looking forward to getting these in more in the next training cycle. Again, as I switch back to my competition stances. All right, so I'm sitting here putting the final touches on this video and I wanted to jump on camera real quick just to fill in some gaps as I have the tendency to leave some in my mindless rambling. So up to this point in the video, you probably haven't learned too much, but that's one of the things that I really want to do in these videos besides just show you my progress is try to leave you some nuggets of information. And up till this point, you probably only really learned how to squat a very high low bar how to coordinate terrible looking gym outfits. And now that I think of it, you should never call your gym attire outfits. It just doesn't sound very good. And finally, how to have some very terrible pre-workout nutrition made up of gummy colas and chocolate dipped Oreos. Well, probably not the best choice. They were pretty damn fucking good. Uh, so that being said, I wanna talk a little bit about deloads. I've already mentioned in here, and I can't stress it enough, that I use my deloads also to take a week off of pre-workouts. I think it's good not only to reset your system, but that way when you do go and train again, that you just have that much more energy from them. And let's be honest, on deloads, you're typically using like 50% of your working weight, so you shouldn't need them anyways. I just think it's a good idea in the long run. And speaking of deloads, I think they're very vital. In fact, they're probably one of the most important things that I've instituted in my own training over the past couple of of years, I really find that that active recovery gives me the best of both worlds. And I say that because back in the bro days when I wasn't on a specific program, I would just go train and train and train until I got hurt or felt like I was going to get hurt. And then what I do is I just take a complete week off to recover. And while in theory, that was probably good recovery wise for my body, it wasn't the best in terms of my training capacity because I've become detrained. So I'd take time off of the gym thinking I'm doing good. I'd get back and I'd found that I'd take several steps back and it took me a long time to get back to where I was. So these deloads or these active recovery weeks are kind of the best of both worlds as it allows your body to recover a bit from all the hard training you've been going through, but at the same time, you don't get to that detrained state. So if you're currently on a program, I would say make sure that there's a deload built into it. Some of the best programs out there, they should have them already built in. If not, try to get one in a regular cadence. So like every five weeks, every eight weeks, 10 weeks, wherever you find the best, 
if you're not on a program and you're just kind of YOLOing it in the gym, but you feel like you're aching or you've been interested in taking deloads, I can't recommend them highly enough. So it's a little bit of talk about deloads. I'm looking forward to the next week of training because I get back to my real numbers or at least start to try to attempt some real numbers using some competition lists. So I'll catch you in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. In the meantime, stay big.